Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I am the Grateful Queen and this is a channel all about reselling online. I shop at thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales, and the bins. I buy things to flip on sites like eBay and Poshmark. I hope to encourage you to buy secondhand and maybe even resell. I'm grateful to be self-employed and work from home, and I'd like to inspire you to make more money and love what you do. Hey friends, I'm back with another video for you. Today I have a what sold video. So my plan in this video is to share with you items that sold on eBay and Poshmark in the month of July. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when other reseller content related videos are coming out and make sure to give the video a, a like. I appreciate that. Okay. So in this video, my plan is to show you the items that sold. I'll pop a picture up here and I'll try and show you the labels, so the brand name tags. So if you're trying to learn brand names that sell, you'll be able to see that. And I'm going to focus on items that sold in eBay in July that sold around the $30 mark um, in this particular video. I have other what sold videos where I show you some of my flops, some of my low sales, some of my high sales. In this particular video, I just decided to focus on items that sold for a little bit more because honestly, wouldn't we all like to know which brands and styles and fabrics and sizes and stuff is selling for a little bit more. Ideally, we'd all love to get that in our closet or our store, right? So I'm gonna focus on that. But before I get into what's sold, I wanna talk a little bit about my numbers. So I'm gonna share my numbers with you. I'll try and pop them up here on the screen, wherever they end up going when I do my video editing. I wanna tell you that I'm a part-time seller. What I've realized when I look at my numbers is that I make in sales approximately $2,000 a month on eBay. eBay is my main platform. I've been selling on there for eight years since 2011, so it's the platform that I feed the most because my sales are really consistent. I've been on Posh about a year, and um, I love Posh. It's definitely an area of growth for me, and I will be working more on putting more items on Posh and uh, sharing more. But over the summer, I haven't been doing that as much. So I don't have a full numbers report for Posh, but I will show you um, at the end of the video a few things that sold over there. Um, so in the month of May, from May 1st to May 31st, I made $2,213 in sales. In June, I made $1,806 in sales. And in July, I made $1,745 in sales. But I have a caveat for July because I was in Maine on vacation with my family. Maybe I'll stick some footage in here because who doesn't want to see that? Okay, so at this point you may have noticed that I'm reporting my sales, but I'm not accounting for eBay fees, PayPal fees, cost of goods. So to keep it simple for me, and maybe for you too as a viewer, I just took those three months totals, May, June, July, and I averaged them out. And I come up with the number $1,921 is my average sales on eBay for the three months. And so I just took 15% off that to account for eBay fees and PayPal fees. So off of the 1921, I'm deducting $288, which leaves me with $1,633, $1,600. Bucks. Plus there's cost of goods. So deduct another few hundred dollars from the 1600 and you can see that I'm bringing home over $1,000 take home after fees, after um, cost of goods and everything. I'm really happy with that for 10 or 15 hours of work that I love. So that's a little bit about the numbers. Now let's get into what items sold. Got my notes here, I've got my computer here. First thing I'm gonna talk about is this Barefoot Dreams um, hooded sweatshirt type item. If you don't know, look for Barefoot Dreams. It sells really well. This item sold for $30 on best offer, plus they paid $8 shipping, and it sold within a few hours of listing. I might have listed it a little too slow. Um, I mean, a little too slow, a little too low. I might have listed it a little too low because it sold right away. Barefoot Dreams is the main reason I take the time to look in the sleepwear section at the thrift store. 
I do have um, a Barefoot Dreams robe that I've been waiting until fall, winter to list, and I think I can list that for about $70. So it's definitely a brand to know. This is a dress by the brand Marnie that I've never heard of it, but it sold for $45 on best offer. Um, it sold really fast. Like it was either the same day or the next day that I listed it. I'd never heard of this brand, but the tag said Marnie made in Italy. And I have a tip for you and a rule for myself that if something says made in Italy, I usually buy it or I whip up my phone and I check comps because things that say made in Italy tend to do really well for me. This was, um, this next one I want to talk to you about are Hudson men's jeans. I would like to share with you that, um, men's jeans is a category that as a reseller I am really trying to pay attention to. These jeans sold for my full asking price of $34.99 plus $8 shipping. They were a size 32 um, waist, 33 length, and they were very worn. These were like broken in. They were not in excellent condition. I took tons of pictures and I noted that. And these went to an international buyer. So I use eBay's global shipping program. If you're not, you should. In my opinion, it's easy. Um, I know that eBay does charge the international buyers quite a lot for shipping. We don't get to see exactly what that is, but I frequently have gotten emails from the international customer saying, can you change the shipping? It's so expensive. And I'm like, no, I go through the global shipping program on eBay and they they handle that part. But for me, it's really easy. I bought Hudson jeans do well and men's jeans have been selling really well for me in the $30 range. There are certain brands that I look out for. Uh, while I'm on it, why don't I talk about this other brand that sold. Um, these are AG jeans. I love these jeans. Adriana Goldschmidt jeans are sold at Nordstrom and they can be upwards of $200 for a pair of men's or women's jeans. They're the reason I go to the men's section. I go to the men's section and specifically look for AG jeans. They This pair sold, they're a size 32. They were the Regent boot cut. Okay, so this pair of um, men's AG jeans sold for $30, plus they paid the $8 shipping, so that's a good flip for me. And again, I probably paid somewhere between $4 and $6 at 50% off day Salvation Army. This next sale was a pair of ALO leggings. The tag is hard to see, but it's ALO. These sold really fast for $30. I did free shipping on these. $30 for a pair of pre owned leggings, I think, is really good. And these were a size small or extra small. Um, are you guys familiar with the brand ALO? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite fitness brands are to sell because fitness category sells really well for me. Of course, I know to pick up Lululemon and Athleta, but there are some other smaller brands that are doing really well. ALO is one of those for me. I don't find it that often, but when I do, it sells really fast. So if you have one to share, feel free to leave it down in the comments below. That would be great and help us all. Okay, this next item is, an, is a Bowdoin dress. Probably most of you are familiar with the brand Bowdoin. It's a pretty expensive brand. They're really known for their color combinations, bright color combinations and prints, but this was a denim chambray dress and it sold for $30. Um, it was a size eight medium and anything that I can put the words chambray or tencel lyocell, um, in the title usually sends, sells pretty well for me. I also sold recently um, a Bowdoin denim chambray top. So that stuff's still doing pretty well. Um, so that was a good sale. Let's look what else I have for you. It's hard to just choose like a number of sales to sell. Okay, this is one of my this is one of my favorite flips I want to talk to you guys about. So this was unusual for me. This I got at the bins. I have some other videos where I talk about and do hauls from my bins. Most resellers agree that you can really save money by shopping at the Goodwill outlet, the bins, and paying by the pound. And I definitely agree it's the cheapest place to source. I just don't know if for me and my current business model right now, it's the best place for me to source. But I got this bag there. And um, this 
was a Timbuktu men's messenger bag. It sold for $49.99, plus they had to pay for um, like $13 or something for priority um, mail shipping. I don't, you know, this was, <laughs> this was sort of a one-off. It's like, what happened to me in short was I went to the bins. I was all motivated to go save some money and shop at the bins. And I get there and they were having a hard goods only day. What? I sell mostly clothing. Have you guys ever had that? Does your bins do that? And there's no way to find out. Like I went up to the desk and I'm like, there's no clothes. And she's like, yeah, it's a, a hard goods only. And I'm like, well, is there any way to know? She's like, no, it's not like I can check a website or anything before. But anyway, I was like, well, I'm here. I drove here. I'm pumped up to go to the bins. So I went and I came home with, they did have shoes. So I came home with shoes and bags and some things I wouldn't normally buy. I don't know that I would have normally bought this. Um, I remember these from when I was younger, when I lived in Boston and all the messengers in Boston would carry these bags. And it was nice. It was in really great shape. It was really big, but $49 at the bins. My guess is it weighed two or three pounds. So I might've paid like six bucks or less for it. So that was a super good flip. Sometimes that's good to get out of your comfort zone. The next item I'm gonna to talk to you about are these women's leggings. They're by the brand Three Dots. And I thought I would share this one with you because um, the label literally just has three dots on it. So if you're someone who's trying to learn brands, I just remember with this brand, I'm like, what is this? It just has three dots. What's the name of it? But these felt like such good quality. They were kind of a heavier weight Ponte knit, P-O-N-T-E, Ponte knit. Um, and I put that in my title, skinny leggings, pull on. And I looked it up. They are sold at Bloomingdale's, this brand, um, Three Dots. And these this sold for $30. I did free shipping. And I got this at 50% off day. So I probably paid a few dollars for it. Okay, this next item was a BCBG Max Azria women's dress. The reason I thought it'd be good to talk about this one is because I don't buy a lot by this brand. It does not sell great for me. Um, but I bought this because it was a wrap dress and it sold for $32, which I think is pretty good for a black wrap, size medium wrap dress. People love wrap dresses like the classic Diane von Furstenberg dresses. That's what this looked like. It was the kind of a heavier weight slinky spandex and it had it was a true wrap. For those of you who might not know, there is a difference between a faux wrap dress and a true wrap dress and I will note that in my listing. A faux wrap is when they've sewn the dress together in the front. It looks like it wraps all the way around, but it's really sewn shut. That's a faux wrap. A true wrap has a hole in the side for you to thread the waist tie through, and people really like those. They are an extremely flattering dress style, so that's why I took a risk on this one. And I'm wondering where I got this dress. I can't remember if I got it at a yard sale or I got it at 50% off day at Salvation Army. Either way, I only spent a few bucks on it, so $32 was a good flip for me. Okay, so I thought I would throw a pair of shoes in this What Sold video too. These shoes are Alegria, is that how you say it? Feel free to correct me in the comments if I have that wrong. Alegria, Alegria, I don't know, I'll show you the label. They sold for $30 plus they paid $8 shipping. I got a lot of lowball offers on Best Offer on eBay for these, but I really did hold out because I saw that in comps people sell, I think 30 is like the minimum I would take because they can go for 40, 45. Um, they were super cute with a, they almost look like Birkenstocks, which are really popular right now with the way the straps, the silver straps were across the top. I got those at a yard sale for $3. So three to 30 plus $8 shipping. I'm happy with that. Okay. So that's a number of sales. Let me talk a little bit about posh and posh sales. I'll just talk about a few. Honestly, um, my posh closet is small. My sales on there are pretty slow. I know what I need to do if I want to make more sales on Posh. I need to list more items on Posh for sale. Um, also I need to share more. Are there other tips for selling more on Posh? Sure. You should have items that people actually want. You should try and have great pictures and good titles. All that helps, but at the end of the day for me and my experience, what I've seen on Posh and on eBay is the more I list, the more I sell. A few sales on Posh. So I sold this pair of Lululemon shorts for $30 on Posh and they sold within like minutes. 
Maybe I priced them too low. I had them up there at 45, which I thought was on the high side for a pair of women's Lulu shorts, size 10 running shorts. Um, but I got an offer right away for 30 and I had paid just a few dollars for them. So I was like, sure, great. I took it. She was happy. I was happy. That was a great sale. Um, this next sale was fun because it was a bundle sale for me. This was a bundle of four LuLaRoe skirts and it sold to one of my viewers, so thank you so much. She messaged me on there and said, oh, I watched you on YouTube. She sent me an offer for all four skirts for 38, and I had only paid $1 each for them at a yard sale, so I was really happy with $38 sale on Posh. Four to 38 made a lot of sense for me, and I love giving my viewers and my followers um, a great deal. Have you hit that like and subscribe button yet? I hope you have. This will probably be the last item. Um, Oh, this was a Free People sweater. This last item I sold on Poshmark for $25 was a Free People baby doll sweater. It's time, get your sweaters listed. I've got mine up. This was kind of a big chunky knit. Free People does great for me on Poshmark. So does Lululemon. Those are the items that I definitely choose to put on Posh instead of eBay. So what do you think of these What Sold videos? Let me know. Let me know if you wanna see more of these. I have tons more sales I could share with you. Um, let me know if there's any other information that I can share with you that will help you learn and grow. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.